good afternoon everybody now let us start our topic okay so now we will uh, read what is harmonic function okay so what is harmonic function So what do we mean by harmonic function? First comes so, uh, its definition. Uh, let u of x y be a function of two variables. Be a function of two variables x and y. Okay. Defined in a region D. X and y. Defined in a region D. Define in a region D. Let u x y u of x y be a function of two variables defined in be a function of two variables x and y defined in a region D. Then this u of x y is said to be a harmonic function is said to be a harmonic function is said to be a harmonic function if del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square equal to zero and this condition is called harmon laplace equation this equation in y this is called laplace equation this is laplace equation so a two variable function u of x y this thing is said to be harmonic if it satisfies this laplace equation the laplace equation is del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square equal to zero okay now comes to a theorem remember this is the uh, definition of harmonic function u is said to be a harmonic function if it will satisfy this condition okay so now comes to a theorem so what is the statement of the theorem the real and imaginary parts of an analytic function the real and imaginary part the real and imaginary part of an analytic function of an analytic function are harmonic functions are harmonic functions okay now I'll prove it uh, are you, the statement saying the real and imaginary part of an analytic function are harmonic functions okay so let f of z which is your u of x y plus i times v of x y be an analytic function. So this is an analytic function is given to u. f of z is equal to u of x y plus i times v of x y. And your aim is to show that this is the this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. V of x y is the imaginary part, u of x y is the real part, and you have to show that. Uh, this u of x y and v of x y are harmonic functions. That means it satisfies the Laplace equations. Okay? That means to show that u of x y and v of x y are harmonic functions. Okay. So now we will show that this thing satisfies CR equations. So what I will write since f of z is an analytic function since this thing is an analytic function so u of x y comma v of x y and all its first order partial derivatives all its first order 
partial derivatives well first order partial derivatives are continuous all its first order partial derivatives partial derivatives are continuous and satisfies satisfies cr equations okay we know these things from the uh, sufficient condition the theorem uh, which says the sufficient condition for analyticity okay or sufficient condition for differentiability so u of x y b of x y and all its first order partial derivatives are continuous and satisfies the cr equations so what is the cr and satisfies the cr equation what is the cr equation u x is equal to v y so u x means this is del u by del x equal to del v by del y and u y equal to minus v x and what is your u y this is del u by del y equal to minus del v by del x okay so so if this uh, satisfies the cr equations then we can add this thing then further further also we can write this is del square u by del x del y equal to del square u by del y del x and del square v by del x del y equal to del square v by del y del x this cr equation also satisfy along with this thing also holds for both u and v because it is saying that the first order partial derivatives are continuous since uh, ui is continuous so its partial derivative which x is this one so uh, both these things will be commutative similarly uh, since uh, vy or vx both are continuous similarly if you will take their partial derivatives with respect to x or with respect to y then these two things will commute since they are continuous since the first order partial derivatives are continuous so uh, this uh, two derivatives like uh, first if you will take the partial derivative with respect to y then with respect to x or first with respect to x then with respect to y then all these conditions are same all these things are same since the first order partial derivatives are continuous okay so now uh, comes to our laplace equation Okay, consider del square u y del x square plus del square u y del y square. So this thing will be this is del y del x of del u y del x, then del y del y of del u by del y. Then uh, in place of del u by del x, I will write del v by del y. So this will be del y del x of del v by del y plus del y del y uh, in place of u y or del u by del y i can write minus del v by del x so now this thing is so this is in plus this is del square v by del x del y minus del square v y this is del y del x okay since all these things are same so their difference is zero that means we got del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square equal to 0. So u of x y is harmonic. So u of x y is a harmonic function. Okay. Then similarly we can similarly we can show that v of x y is also harmonic okay now this thing is wrote now comes to a, a. this is given x square plus y and check whether u of x y is harmonic or not this is harmonic or not 
so now calculate what is your ux so ux it will be 2x similarly u double x again take partial derivative of this 2x so this will be 2 simply partial derivative partial derivative of u so if you will y y this is 2 plus 0 which is for laplace sorry for harmonic function if it will satisfy the laplace equation then it's okay but this thing is not equal to 0 so you can say that the given u x y is not Okay, so now comes to another definition uh, which says that the harmonic conjugate. This is harmonic conjugate. So, what is the definition of harmonic conjugate? Let f of z is equal to u of xy, and this is u plus iv. Let f of z is equal to u plus iv. IV be an analytic function let this thing be an analytic function defined in a region d defined in a region d so this thing is defined in a region d u plus iv is an analytic function defined in a region d then v is said to be the harmonic conjugate of u the harmonic conjugate of u okay so now what we got from this definition suppose f of z is a harmonic function sorry f of z is an analytic function f of z means uh, u is its real part and v is its imaginary part Okay, every analytic function has a real part and imaginary part and it is saying the imaginary part is said to be the harmonic conjugate of real part. So, what we got here? Imaginary part um, in a, first I will write, in, in a analytic function, in a analytic function imaginary part imaginary part is the harmonic conjugate of imaginary part is the harmonic conjugate of a real part that means v is the harmonic conjugate of u okay so now remember the definition now comes the theorem uh, related to this thing this harmonic conjugate so let f is equal to let f which is equal to u plus i v be an analytic function be an analytic function be an analytic function in a region d in a region d then v is the harmonic conjugate of u then V is the harmonic conjugate of U if and only if if and only if U is the harmonic conjugate of U is the harmonic conjugate of harmonic conjugate of minus v now comes to its scope given that u v is the harmonic conjugate of u given that v is the harmonic conjugate of v is the harmonic conjugate of u so since v is the harmonic conjugate of u then you can say that u plus i v let this be f that f which is u plus i v is a analytic function is an analytic function because here from the definition of 
harmonic conjugate what we got if v is the harmonic conjugate of u then u will be the uh, real part and v which uh, we are saying that an harmonic conjugate that is the imaginary part so i will write a function f where u is its real part and v is its imaginary part then this thing will be an analytic function so if f is analytic so if is also an analytic function so what will be your if multiply i then this will be i into u uh, minus v because i times i v uh, and i times i means this is i square which is your minus 1 so i f which is your i u minus v so if i will write this thing this is minus v plus i times u i times u is a also an analytic function so if f is analytic then i f is analytic and i f is nothing this is your minus v plus i times u so uh, since this is an analytic function so this imaginary part this will be the harmonic conjugate of this real part so we can write or thus you can write tap u is the harmonic of minus v okay and you can write then the converse of the proof is similar then the converse since f and only f is there since f and only f is there so you can write then the converse of the proof is similar So now comes to uh, another theorem. Uh, any two harmonic conjugates, any two harmonic conjugates, any two harmonic conjugates of a given harmonic function of a given harmonic function u in a region d differ by a real constant of a given harmonic function u in a region in a region d differ by a real constant So, so what is the statement is saying? Any two harmonic conjugates of a given harmonic function, that means u is a harmonic function, and if we will consider any two harmonic conjugate, harmonic conjugate, it will differ by a real constant. Any harmonic function consider u b any harmonic function defined in a region d defined in a region d and let g and v star be its two harmonic conjugates Okay, let v right of uh, u. So if v will be harmonic conjugate, then you will say u plus i v. This will be analytic function, and u plus i v star. This will be another. Are two analytic function. Are two analytic functions. So if these things are two analytic functions. Then by Cauchy-Riemann equations, we and by CR equations. So what we will uh, write by CR equation? This is ux, which is your del u by del x is your del v by del y. That means this thing is your del v by del y. 
for this one similarly u plus i v star this thing will be del v star by del y and uh, u y which is your del u by del y this is your minus del v by del x or this is minus del v star by del x okay because this is analytic and this is also analytic so i will write for once i will write for v again i will write for v star so then del v by del y equal to del v star by del y and similarly minus del v by del x equal to minus del v star by del x so this is del v so this is del v by del x equal to del v star by del x this implies del v by del y minus del v by del v star by del y equal to 0 on minus del v star by del x equal to 0 this implies del y del y of v minus v star equal to 0 and this is del y del x of v minus v star equal to 0 so derivative with respect to x it is 0 this implies we can say v minus v star is a constant okay, where c is equal so this is the thing which, uh, which you need to prove it is saying that the harmonic conjugates differ by a real constant where c is a real constant thus proved so if v and v star are two harmonic conjugates then, then they are differ by a real constant okay, where c is a constant or you can say this is a problem let u x y suppose u x y is given x square minus y square then check whether it is harmonic or not check whether it is harmonic or not if it is harmonic if it is harmonic then find its harmonic conjugate then find its harmonic conjugates okay so now your u of x y is this is x square minus y square okay so if you will calculate what is your u x that is a partial derivative of u with respect to x this will be 2 x again u x x this will be 2 then what will be your v x sorry now this is u of x y then find what is u of y so u of y is your partial derivative of u with respect to y so this will be minus 2 y again u of y y this will be minus 2 so now what is your u of x x plus u of y y this will be 2 plus minus 2 so this thing is 0 that means laplace condition is satisfying thus you can say your u of x y is harmonic okay so if it is harmonic then find its harmonic conjugate so there are uh, several problems uh, you, uh, how, there are several problems how to find this harmonic conjugate i will give, uh, do only uh, two to three problems so now you just uh, follow or you just want to see uh, how this thing is working or how we are finding this harmonic conjugates so let v of x y be the harmonic conjugates of u be the harmonic conjugates of u of x y then uh, if v is the harmonic conjugate of u then you know u plus iv is a analytic function then 
f of z which is your u plus i v is an analytic function okay so if u plus i v is an analytic function then you know it's thing uh, this thing satisfies cr equations so what you will write by using cr equations del u by del x is equal to del v by del y and del u by del y equal to minus del v by del x we know this thing these are the cr equations okay so you know what is your u what is your u okay u is your uh, x square minus y square so del u by del x what will be your del u by del x this is your 2x so 2x is your del v by del y and del u by del y special derivative with respect to y this is your minus 2y so minus 2y is your minus del v by del x so what you are getting here this implies del v by del y this is your 2x and del v by del x this is your 2y now consider this first one consider del v by del y this is your 2x now integrating both sides that means i am uh, trying to find out what is v from this equation or from the first equation integrating both sides both sides with respect to y so if i will integrate this thing with respect to y then you will get your v of xy this is your 2xy plus uh, since we are integrating with respect to y and here x is constant so uh, i will write uh, vxy is 2xy uh, 2x integration with respect to y is 2xy then here x is a constant so i will write this thing as a phi of x okay in generally we are writing uh, del v by del y is 2x so your v of xy or v is 2xy plus some constant and since there are partial derivatives and i am taking partial derivative with respect to y since your partial derivative with respect to y so uh, whatever the constant terms we will get i will write this thing as a function of x okay so i will write where phi of x is a function of x alone is a function of x alone okay remember these things yes. so v of x y is this thing so if v of x y is this thing now find what is del v by del x then what is del v by del x let's take its partial derivative with respect to x then this will be 2y 